Well, hey guys, thanks for joining us. Want to take a quick opportunity to kind of catch up on some of the news that's going on. It's been a kind of a late day for me. We'll get to that in a little bit. But first, they found another one of the workers that was on top of the bridge when it was struck by the dolly. They've made that recovery. Very, very sad, but at the same moment, very relieved for that family. They have closure, and maybe that can help lead to them finding peace uh, with, with what's happened to their loved one. A uh, very tragic event, but, but oh so relieved that those, those crews out there were able to make that recovery. A lot going on with the ship now. Um, I guess everyone has heard now about the FBI uh, boarding the ship, coming on the ship, and they're now conducting their own investigation. Let's face it, guys, this is going to be the most investigated marine incident in the history of our country. Maybe, probably, even in the world. Uh, there, there are several agencies that are involved that are looking at different things now. And uh, a big question I have, and maybe this is a question for Dr. McCogliano over at what's going on with shipping, is there's a blend here of maritime law and criminal code for the state of Maryland. And I think there's gonna be a lot of kind of shadowy areas that are gonna to have to be explored through the legal system. I don't think you're gonna be able to uh, move forward with a capital crime because uh, it's gonna be difficult to show intent. But understand this is an ongoing investigation. Uh, we don't know anything of what's going on with the investigation, and it's purely speculation and maybe up for discussion, and that's why I bring it up. Other news, Don John was supposed to make a lift today. Uh, I have got sent these images. Now, I can't tell if this was from earlier or whether this was a, what happened today. I'm still trying to get that verified, but it look, looks like uh, from what I've heard, that they were scheduled to get another large section up uh, out from uh, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, and if that happened, we're going to we're going to follow up on it. But these images were sent to me uh, from some of the subscribers up in the Baltimore area, and uh, I'm still trying to get clarification, but that's obvious. You can see. The Chesapeake 1000 there uh, transitioning with a large section of the of the bridge uh, there off the off the main boom. In the meantime, today's been a busy day for the Menorcan Mullet as we were busy uh, getting the boat ready. We finally got it back out of the shop. A little pressure washing job here to try to clean it up. It's been a while since it's been in the water. We got our safety inspection sticker installed on the boat and we had had the boat inspected and uh, i wanted to show you guys the application that we're we're ready to go at least on the safety front boat's been checked out and everything everything checks out just fine and then secondly it's been a busy day or i should say third uh, new tires bearings all those all those kind of things on the boat today to get ready to make the trip to Baltimore. The Menorcan Mullet, the boat, is heading to Maryland. Uh, hopefully we'll be, be up there uh, by uh, Wednesday morning, get on the water so that we can bring you guys some more video. Hey, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Leave us some comments, and you guys be safe out there.